everybody. It's your girl Emma and I'm back with another video. <laughs> so good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all, your girl is getting off work. Yes, I am. And I, I am so happy that today is Saturday morning. I can finally clock out Yes, honey. Yes. Your girl has put in her time. So your girl is leaving. Oh, I thought I said, what is the noise? That's the rain. Y'all, it is pouring down outside. It's pouring down outside. Oh, snap. I forgot. Girl, got to put a time in, honey. So your girl had did her four, 40 hours of overtime. So now I'm getting ready to go home. Mm-hmm. So I thought I would hop on here right quick. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to hit y'all back when I come back, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm waiting on, on the computer to come up, which is taking all day, mm-hmm, all day. So your girl and put in the time, and this is the weekend, and I am so excited because your girl get to get some rest. I get to get some sleep. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice up. All right. I'm going to come back again. I'll be right back because I want to talk to y'all, okay? All right. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back. I'm out of the computer room. So, I'm heading out. Yeah, baby. It's time to get up out of Dodge. Up out of this hospital. Yes. Yeah, I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. And it's just as gloomy outside. Can't do nothing. Can't even go out to the park this morning. To get my walk on because it's gloomy. Look at that. I mean, it is coming down out there today. Well, you know what? That just make good weather for me to sleep. That's all what it is. Look at that. See that? That's what it's looking like out there today. Hopefully it cleared up, but if it don't, like I said, that makes good weather for me to sleep. Yeah, baby. So listen, y'all. That's a little too bright. So listen, I wanted to talk to y'all about, um, what is it called? Um, Bell Palsy. Bell Palsy, I think I'm saying that right. It's where uh, it affects your facial expressions, right? Uh, I saw a video that Miss C had did, and she was talking about it, so I looked it up myself, and that's what I want to talk to you all about. Uh, sometimes you're born with it. I'm an elevator, y'all. Sometimes you're born with it, and sometimes it happens uh, because of stress. And that's the part I want to talk about. Thank you. And that's the part I want to talk about. It's the stress level. And like, for me, for instance, you know, I kind of can relate to that a little bit because when I read about it, I was like, you know, I think I might have experienced a little bit of that because Wait a minute, y'all. I'm getting in this car. <clears throat> I think I might have experienced that a little bit. And it tells you the signs of what to look for. Oh, I guess I don't. Wait, y'all. I guess I don't have my key out right. Oh. Oh, wow. There we 
Africa. And it tells you the signs, what to look for. And uh, I noticed over the summer when I started doing a lot of overtime, I had began to get headaches. And like the thing was saying, sometimes you think it's just a headache and it can be a lot more. And I knew I was a little stressed because like I said, <clears throat> doing a lot of overtime can be very stressful and my job the work that type of work that I do y'all I'm a monitor tech they call the sitters it's the job is not stress but it's the strain on my body and my mind because I have to maintain to my awareness to stay awake so I'm up all night and then I stay over in the morning for the morning shift which is the seven to three and then I get off at three and then I come home and I notice my head was hurting. Then I kind of noticed a little twitching, you know, in my lip a little bit, you know, and I knew it was nerves. I knew it was nerves. But then the more I read about it and heard everybody discussing it, I was like, wow, I think I experienced just a little bit because I'm trying to set y'all up here because of the stress and the workload that I put myself under. But you know, like I said before, a girl gotta do what she gotta do, you know. So I wanted to ask you all, how do you all handle when you're under the stress when it comes down to your family or job related or even, you know, when you're into it with some of your loved ones? You know, we got to be very, very careful, y'all. This thing is just not working out. I'm trying to set y'all up here. Let's see. I can't set y'all up here either. Oh, well, shoot. You know, we got to be very, very careful, y'all, on how we handle stress in our lives. You know, even in relationships where you're married, single, bills, all of that. Damn, I think I got it now. All of this stuff can cause us some anguish. And you look around. There it goes. I might have to hold y'all. And then you look around, and then you you know you're having headaches, and then you know your facial expression has changed a little bit, and you feel it. Because I, I truly did. I said, well, I think I experienced a little bit of that because. I was having, I had headaches, and I knew it was due from being up all night, but then the stress of it all, trying to maintain my awareness, and then trying to make videos, and watch everybody videos, sometimes, y'all, that can become a little stressful, for me, it, it, it was becoming a lot of stress, because I don't want to let anybody down, because I want everybody to get monetized, that subscribe to me, they're not monetized, and sometimes, I, I think I put a lot of pressure on myself, because I don't want to let you guys down. And I want to support you all. Because you all got me to where I am. And sometimes, like I said, you know, that within itself can be a little stressful on us. So, y'all, we have to be very, very careful when it comes down to YouTube and our personal lives. Not to let YouTube consume us, you know. Because the YouTube industry, y'all, they don't they don't care about us like that. You know, they, they don't. They really, they really don't. I think, I think too, YouTube sometimes can take us away from doing the things that we ordinarily do. The like going out and, and just having fun without having to clean to the computer or a laptop or, or your phone because you want to support each other, you know, and then, you know, not make, not feeling like if you don't watch somebody's videos they're going to feel like you're not supporting them because they watch your videos and you know all this stuff all this stuff like that y'all can be a little strain and a little pressure but i have come to realize i have come to realize myself personally i can only do so much you know and if you know you know that i am a supporter of yours and just because i missed a few of the videos you know, I can't put that pressure on myself saying, well, you know, you, you, you can't sleep, Emma. You, you, got to, you, got to, you got to go out and support them because they supported you, you know. Don't put that strain on yourself, you know. You, you got to take care of yourself. You got to have that time away from YouTube. And I have come to realize, I know I do because I work days 
and nights, you know. And I try to do a lot of watching my videos is when I'm at work because I do have a sit-down job. And like I said, the hardest part about my job is to maintain your awareness. You have to be awake. You have to monitor the patients, you know, and you can't be sleeping off and all this stuff. So it's, it's stressful trying to stay awake all night and then stand awake all day until 3 o'clock in the evening. Then you go home. And then when I get home, I can't really sleep, sleep because my mind is going or I'm too exhausted. Have you ever been like that too? When you're so exhausted, you can't sleep. You have to take something to help you sleep. And then when I get home, I want to support everybody and watching their videos till I can't really get the rest that I need because... You know, I don't want to let any of you all down. And sometimes, y'all, we put that pressure on ourselves. And like I said, YouTube don't care about that. We have to care about ourselves and not to put that pressure on ourselves. And we as family, we have to understand eventually our family members will come out and watch our videos. Okay, if I didn't catch you yesterday, I'm going to catch you tomorrow. And I've always said, you know, if I, if I don't catch you during the first one, I'll at least come back and try to make it up by watching two, two of the ones that I've missed. Y'all understand what I'm trying to say to y'all this morning, you know. And I think it's very important because I was like, wow, you know, YouTube can consume your life and YouTube can be very stressful on you if you don't know how to manage the two. You understand? And when you're trying to support everybody, once you become monetized, you know, it can put a little strain on you. You know, some people can handle the pressure. I'm one. I'm just learning now how to try to handle it now because I have to live my life too. I have to make a living for myself. YouTube is not my, my lively income. No, it is not. Okay. And I have to do things. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm, I'm talking about bell palsy that's what i'm talking when it come down to too much stress and strain like now i have a headache i know i know why i have a headache because i've been up all night okay that's one of the reasons but then with everyday life pressures too you know just living life it can be a little strain you know so that's that's what i really wanted to talk to you all about this morning just be careful like um mrs uh to keep up with the joneses you know i know uh she she you know she's been a little sick you know uh she had a assist a abscess she said and a lot of times too when you have a pressure and strain on you stuff like that can make stuff grow it can enlarge itself you know what i mean so you we just have to be careful about how we handle youtube and our personal lives too and wanted to support each other. I hope some of y'all can relate to what I'm saying. You feel that pressure because you don't want to let anybody down. You 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 want to you want to support everybody, but you know sometimes you have to just hey, I get to you when I can get to you. You know, and if a person feels a certain type of way, well, they just have to feel a certain type of way. They should know by by now that you're there for them, but. You have to have that time to take care of yourself when you're overworked. And just like um, um, I can think of uh, one person that does the same type of work that I do, that she works in a facility or a hospital or a nursing home, is, um, is Sister D in the house. Sister D in the house does 12 hours, 12 hours, y'all. I used to do 12 hours. I used to do that. And I know when she does her videos at work, like I told y'all before, you have to get your videos in, baby, where, where you can fit them in. You know, we have outside jobs. And when you do 12 hours, when you get off work, you're tired, okay? You're tired. You want to eat. You want to lay down. You want to take a shot. But what does she do? She get on here and she makes her videos. And not only that, she comes out and she supports everybody else. Sometimes that can be a little much, you know. For me, is I feel pressured sometimes that... I can't rest because I don't want to let you guys down. I want to be there for you all. I hope you all understand what I'm saying. And I feel like when I miss two and three videos, sometimes I feel like y'all, you know, y'all might think that I'm making funny or something like that. And I'm not. I'm not. Y'all, I'm not trying to have a stroke for YouTube. I'm not. I'm not trying to overwork myself. Um but feeling guilty or pressure because I have not came out and watched the video because I'm too tired and I need to rest, you know. 
And I know I said a lot of times too that I'm not making up excuses. Well, I'm not making up excuses. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. Y'all, we have got to take care of ourselves, which is so true, you know. But yeah, that's my little talk, y'all. So I'm at 13 minutes. So I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. So your girl is getting ready to go home. Baby, I'm tired. I'm dead bone tired. Tired, 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 tired. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. You know, I just wanted to jump on her right quick because it is gloomy and it's raining outside. And if I drive, y'all going to be flapping like that. And I ain't got time for trying to hold this thing. So until next time, everybody, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Okay? All right, so I, I might put this video up today. Today is a Saturday, y'all. Okay, I normally don't put up videos on Saturdays, but I might put this up today. Or I might save it for Monday. In any case, smooches to everybody. All right, y'all. I love you guys. All right. Bye. Talk to you later.